Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Alan. Morning, Gabby. Mark, a couple of things. Uh, did, did, it was a few days ago now when an MP saying that the slice of the cake's got to be better from um, the Premiership and the Championship down. They've got to, you know, Division 1, Division 2, etc. They've got to get more. I totally agree with that, Mark. Now, what about yep. these new changes to the FA Cup? Is this to the detriment of the lower clubs, you think? Well, I think the first thing to say, I mean, I've only sort of seen what's been in the in the, in the press and, uh, you know, some of the things your correspondent just uh, indicated. Um, so I can't talk about the specifics, but if that happens, those types of things happen, and there's no reason to believe they won't yeah. because um, if you look back in the past, there are two things here. If you look at history, the game has consistently, I'm talking about the game, I'm talking about the FA, the, the, the EFL, has consistently sold the long term for the short term. So let's going to say nothing is going to change there. We're going to see that again. And if that's the case, there's a second thing as well. Why would you sell your rights to somebody who is interested probably in dumbing down that competition when actually you, you, your alternative, you might get slightly less money in the short term, but you sell to somebody who has the interest of improving that competition because they're getting the money out of it. So you're selling it to the normal sort of the rights holders rather than the Premier League, who has a vested interest in actually dumbing it down so it can create greater space for their clubs in the Premier League, as we know. And we, we, we know that's the, their motivation. Um, so I, I just can't see how they can justify this as a as a as a bona fide protection of the interests of yeah. the game. Well, Matt, let me read it. I won't read it all, but this is Martin Ziegler, Matt Lawton from the Times today. The headline: Don't sell cup rights, FA told the Football Association has been warned that selling the FA Cups international broadcasting rights to the Premier League will seriously weaken the historic competition. Senior figures in football believe the deal is poised to go through and there are fears that will result in the FA relinquishing control of the competition leading to all replays being scrapped and even the potential for the final to be moved from its traditional position on the last weekend of the domestic season. Yeah, absolutely outrageous if if this is going to happen. And I think also, Alan, you've got to look at the timing of this. They're trying to push this through. Okay, the rights are coming to an end, but they're trying to push it through before an independent regulator comes in. Because I can't conceive that any independent regulator who's truly independent and truly has the interest of the game at heart would allow that to happen. You know, if if you're talking about playing around with the... Um, the, the competition after the, the third round, which is when the big clubs come in, that's when it's the best for, 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 for the lower league clubs like ourselves. If, if we get through and we have replays and so forth, it could be half a million pounds in, into the club. And that's, that's really material to the lower league clubs. Yeah. But there's another thing aspect. It's not just the cash. You know, you you have your fans, they go. And, and very few of the club's fans will see their clubs be successful because you only have so many winners, so many promotions, etc. These are you know yourself, these are these these are the days when the fans can come and they can touch the big time. They can actually see it. They I mean, you know, we have a packed out stadium if we have Man United come or yeah. Tottenham or, or what even Watford when we beat we went down to Watford in I think it's just before the, the pandemic. We were three nil down at half time. We drew three all, brought them back to our place and beat them. And that is the magic of the cup. Now, Absolutely. that would be their, their memories. Now, these guys, if the FA cannot, A, sell the rights themselves in a way that gets the max out, I don't mind if they get slightly less. And this other thing about money coming down into the grassroots of the game, etc. cetera, let's, let's look at that because I don't know what the figures are at this point in time. But that's going to happen anyway when an independent regulator comes in. So this may be a way of, of preempting that and then tarting it up to look like they've, they've actually done something good for the game when actually what they're doing is they can actually control the competition that deteriorates, you know, the, the, the top. If it's to make space in the in the, uh, in the the Champions League, we're, we're looking again at doing something that will help the top six clubs or so. Correct. I think, yeah, as, I think as well when when you see like the lower the lower um, league teams play a top team in the Premier League and they get a draw, for instance, at home, the excitement from the fans and players the cup, to know they're the cup, going yeah. in the cup mm -hmm. to know to know that they're going to a Premier League stadium for the replay, you're going to take yeah. that away. Absolutely, and, and you know, and, and it's on the television, and, and there's a, a, there's a myriad of things that come through, Gabby. It's things like you know your sponsors like it. 
Yes. And it's one of the things you can sell. So it, it really does have a really big impact, the FA Cup, still. You know, in the days that Alan played, I mean, I played there, we didn't get very far in it, but, but you know, in the days that you guys played, yeah. in it, 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 it was a real good competition. And internationally, that's what people would like to see. You know, if you're dumbing down, there's no replays. And also this thing about playing, uh, possibly playing in midweek rather than on a Saturday. You know, people have got to get back from work. Your gates are lower in midweek and so forth. You know, so it's it's really just a really dangerous um uh, it, it hasn't happened but Matt, that's weird. what they're talking about moving all FA Cup ties to midweek that, that's going to kill oh, that attendance uh, absolutely you know so you, 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 you've got guys coming home from work here on Merseyside and they've got to flog down to London for a midweek game or take an afternoon off and probably the following day off uh, and it, it just isn't it just doesn't, it doesn't think about the fans and it thinks about one thing it thinks about the Premier League Forest Green Rovers, they've appointed um, Hannah Dingley as the caretaker manager. Would this be anything that you consider um, a female working? Interesting question. And the answer is there's probably 60-odd million people who would apply, or potentially wouldn't apply, but if they were put in front of me, I wouldn't necessarily take. And that's a whole uh, – that, that isn't about anything to do with gender. It's about experience. It's about you guys know yourselves. There may be a time when that can happen. I think technically women can certainly understand the game as well and could probably coach as well. But actually the reality is you've got to look at the politics of the dressing room uh, and it may be some time before you see that. Now now that Forest Green have done it, well, let, let's see where that goes. But, yeah. you know, I think at the end of the day, um, there's lo- if I look at coaches, you're looking at young coaches these days, certainly down our end, but actually the difficulty with young coaches is they've got no experience, so you have to choose between that and i've just put ian Dawes back in place for us and he's a young coach the reason i've done that is because we've seen him we know him and against other young coaches and um, that's one of the variables that i don't have to worry about because i've seen him and so you've always got that issue and how does it go down in the in the politics of the dressing room etc 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 so you you would take that because it, again it's short term versus long term the fans w- will give a manager maybe 10 games at the start of the season and uh, you know you want to make sure that you give the manager as much protection as you can get um, uh, in terms of the appointment. So I, I think it's difficult to see. It's very brave if, if Forest Green. I very rarely comment on other clubs and what they do and don't do, but I think it's very brave yeah. Yeah. to do that. And, uh, and and there you have it, Mark. Brilliant as always. Thank, thank you, you very much for your time. Good luck for the, the the preseason and the start of the season. Thank you, Mark. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.